Okay, what we have here is a Volvo Penta SX-N outboard, inboard outboard, on a 4.3 liter GL. It's a uh, Blue Water Malibu 2001. And we've got ourself, ourselves here a bent prop shaft. So I've got a machinist travel indicator dial here, all all installed and stuff and let's see what kind of run out. I zeroed it out so we've got ourselves about 52, 53, about 52 thousandths of an inch there so there's our so we're gonna see if we can take that out by Bending the shaft just with it all installed and everything. It's a big fat hassle to pull it out, and these are very robust units. I don't really expect to see any issue with uh, any seals or anything like that. So, we'll see what we can do. See how it goes. So we're going to bring that back in. Ideally, we'd love to get within three thousandths. We'll give it a shot. Okay. So this is the first application of pressure. I've got a piece of wood there. Try to spread out some of that force. But where it was 52 thousandths of an inch, I've jacked it hard enough that I'm zeroed out right here. So I imagine I'm going to have to actually go more negative than that. Um, but to start, I just want to see if we take out any of it. So basically that shaft across where the wheels is sitting right on the oops, is sitting right on the nut there. And that's my high point. I marked it there. But I thought, hey, if I can, I might as well leave this dial indicator on for the sake of seeing, you know, how much pressure I'm really putting on it. So I'm letting this sit for, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. And we'll just see how uh, how it looks. Okay, after the first real couple cranks on it where I went actually a hundred thousands over, I now have it to within 42 thousands of right now. So we'll see if we can get that down even more. It's going to be a challenge, no doubt about it. Okay, so the last reading I got was 42 thousandths of run out. So I really put a lot of pressure on it this time. No heat, no nothing else, just a lot of pressure. So I am a good over a hundred, I think, I believe that is, over a hundred thousandths of pressure on this thing. I'd say I'm easily over a thousand pounds. Of pressure on it right now so let's just see where it ends up right now I'd love if it was a hundred because then that would mean I'm only eleven thousandths away from being good so let's see here okay so what's interesting about this is I let it go a minute ago and I was at about thirty three thousandths and then I just I just jumped on it again, you know, I mean a good hard couple pumps, you know, to uh, to pump it, you know, and put a lot of pressure on it and it looks like it made a difference. I mean, from 33 to exactly 26 right now. So we have literally, we've gone halfway, we're halfway there now. So let's, uh, I'm going to pull this off and we'll see how it actually is turning. Okay, I just had to loosen up the crown a little bit more there so I could see that, get that to calibrate. So I've zeroed it out right now. So now let's see how we're doing. Okay. So that was my high point there. It's 25. And look, I'm exactly still on the same mark there. So 25. So... Ok, 
Okay. So I mean, actually, like 24. So good. We have successfully taken out now over half the run out. So let's get it the rest of the way there. See if we can do it all. Get it all the way, all the way to three. Shooting for three. Okay, this is uh, this is really loaded right now. So we started at 24 thousandths, which was already 50% to our goal of three from 52. So let's let's unload this here. Okay, we want it just low enough that get it out of the way now without having to do too much work I think this off. I just am doing this so that way it, it uh, doesn't mar the bottom of my deal. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see how it's doing now. Wow. Okay. Let's see just what this means right now. Still feels totally the same inside. Okay, so let's find out here. Let's let's calibrate it then. Where's our lowest point? Maybe right there. Zero this guy out. Okay. All right. Let's see what our run out is now. Oh my goodness, that's the highest point, and we're at seven. Thousands. Zero to seven. Whoa. I am pretty impressed. We're well on our way to three. And I'm going to get there for sure. That's a huge change from 52 thousandths to seven. Okay, just another quick one here to show where I'm at now up to seven, maybe seven and a half thousandths. Yeah, seven and a half thousandths when I started, remember, at 52. Not too bad at all. That's pretty darn impressive. We'll get to three. Okay, so we've had this sitting here for a little while. And our most recent measurement was seven and a half thousandths off. Let's see where we're at now. Hopefully, I'm going to laugh, but I hope we're not actually bent the wrong way now. Oh, that's a good sign so far. Oh, I like that. Okay. Let's get that out of the way there. Let's see what we got. Looks like we might just have about the same, maybe a little less. Can you adjust that? Just a hair. Okay, let's see where we're at again here. Okay, so I think we're at about six thousands off. I'm shooting for three. I go as low as zero, but yeah, I'd say we're at about six thousandths off still. And good news is, is it's still the same place high. So, okay, it's time I think just to crank on it one more time and we'll see if we can't get that to get rid of that completely. Okay, so after working it and getting it, I think, where it needs to be. Um, here's what we're left with. 
this was the this was actually the high spot before and it's one one thousandth of an inch high now and I get clear up to looks like that was about it yeah. well I would say no matter how you look at it if that's my new that's my new low spot just a just a hair okay so now my whole run out I think I'm at like two thousandth of an inch now so I'm just gonna check that in the morning that's yeah like a hair under two thousandth of an inch uh, check that in the morning I didn't do any heat so it shouldn't matter and I think we've got ourselves a pretty true shaft going clear from 52 to 2. Amazing. I'm surprised. I didn't realize it would actually work quite so well. So anyways, good news. That method does work. You just got to be patient. You got to kind of learn how much it's going to take uh, and give it a go. Certainly haven't seen any issues at all. I, I don't expect to see any issues with the gear lube and stuff, but We'll watch it closely, but as either that or it's going to be, I don't know, probably $800 to have a prop shaft, uh, have it replaced or get a new one and all the labor because all this bearing carrier and all that would have to be, have to be changed out and it gets kind of, kind of, uh, involved to do that. So anyways, that I think is, I, that's it right there. Good deal.